Yeah, that's a great question. I think trends cheapen your brand if you hop onto them without any intention and thinking about, okay, gut check. Does this trend relate to you know, the North Star of our company? Does it communicate something about our brand? Does it like help us build an audience within that subculture that the trend is coming from? Um, and then the other thing is like, does this trend have longevity or can it be spun as nostalgia in the future? So like, for instance, um, I personally think that the, like, you know, Beyonce concerts, especially the Renaissance tour, there was that moment where she would say every, everybody on mute in her song and everybody's like silent, dead silent. And like some cities, it was funny because people were like, there were like city rivalries like, coming out of that. Um, I was really, really thrilled for Atlanta. Atlanta was mute. They were yes. They did they a good job. Up. I saw. I saw. <laughs> I saw the videos. They were them in DC. Did like they did the so best. good? I was like, yes, city pride. Um, but I think that is an example of something that could be even utilized next year. I was seeing some creators, peers of mine, actually saying like, oh, it would be brilliant to do like a commercial with that thing, and you could even. I'm actually citing an example. I think Nikki Reardon and Coco Moco on on TikTok were proposing a t- um, Super Bowl commercial with Beyonce for Doritos. And they were like, oh yeah, she should say like, it should basically kind of mimic her concert. And she says, everybody on mute. And then there's one person that's like opening a chip bag or like crunching on a Dorito. And so it kind of sells like, oh, this is a really crunchy chip type of thing. And I thought that was such a brilliant idea. And it's like, it is born out of a trend, but because like this is, part of somebody's music catalog and also a really well-known celebrity that just like maintains relevancy forever, it seems like. Um, That could be something that could be spun as nostalgia. And so like fans could participate in that moment and talk about, my God, remember when we were there and she said that in person? Like there's so many different subcultures that could kind of like revive this trending moment into now a memory, a piece of nostalgia, but also a selling point for a company. So I think that's a great way, for instance, to use like a a trending sound or something to figure out, does it have Mm. longevity? Can you use it as nostalgia? Can you tap into people's memories later? Because you don't want something Mm -hmm. that people are not going to remember for more than two minutes, you know? 